Hi Bandeko, Privet, Bonjour, Moti. Welcome to this video. Bandeko, today I'm going to give you my honest opinion what I think about powerlifting versus bodybuilding. Because we have to know that there is a difference between both. You know, powerlifting is more focused on strength and bodybuilding is more focused on building muscle. So you guys already know what do I practice the most. But uh, I'm not doing this video because I want to, to discredit something or because I want people to know. I really respect powerlifters and I really respect bodybuilders. So yes, for me, I'm just doing that because I want to give you my honest opinion. And what do I think about it? And what do I prefer? And also, yeah, what can I advise to someone if someone come and ask me, you know? Yeah, so yeah. So please don't forget that I am not doing that because I want to discourage today. For me, I'm just giving you what I really think. And one more time, I respect people that practice powerlifting and bodybuilding. Please. Please. Okay. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Okay. Before starting to give my opinion about that, I want you guys to understand that powerlifting is more focused on strength. Okay. Strength exercise, you know, and bodybuilding is more... You are building your body more focused on hypertrophy like really building your muscle okay and if someone come and tell me like oh like oh bro what should i do i will tell you first like do what you like or do what you feel like you will really enjoy okay if you will enjoy power lifting please bro feel free go and do power lifting and if you feel like you will enjoy bodybuilding yeah go and this is number one number two we have to understand like in power lifting like I said, I'm like me personally, I, I'm someone that I want to train hard and I'm also, I also think about my future. I'm not saying that powerlifting is bad. I'm just giving you my opinion what I think. I think that lifting big weights uh, or lifting heavy weights isn't a bad thing. When you're young, it's good. It looks nice. And, but I think in the future, the more you, you grow or the more you get older, the more it's not safe for you. You understand? So in my opinion, I'm like... I don't, I don't feel like, like squatting four plates, five plates, and after 10, 20 years, I'm starting to have like back issues, you know, going to surgery, all those things. So for me, I'm like, I don't, like, this is my opinion. I'm like, oh, when I thought about it, I was like, no, I know I may look not stronger than other people. This is not my problem because I'm not comparing myself with other people. I compare myself with me, myself. So I want to be better than who I was yesterday. But also don't forget that I'm not saying that I don't, work on strength no i still deadlift i still squat uh, like back squat and i still go heavy sometimes for me i think that the best thing is to mix because uh it's always good to incorporate like strength exercises just because you also have to get stronger you know so i'm like sometime when i'm I, i'm like oh i need to go hard i need to train on strength i need to focus on four to six reps okay and yes sometimes it's like that and so my overall like advice i can give someone i will tell the person like oh please at least do both even if you really love enjoy hypertrophy it's good but do some strength exercise you know it's not bad to deadlift three plates it's not bad to deadlift four plates it's not bad if you can do that why not do it and but always remember that safety come first and form come first learn first the form learn first how to squat learn first how to deadlift learn first how to bench press and after that you can go heavy with time so as i said uh, my choice of bodybuilding was first about like uh first of all I, I was super skinny and when i started to go to the gym i was i i always enjoyed high reps i don't know why but i always was someone that i like high, high reps i like like doing more reps i like going slow i like controlling the weight it's something that i just like so i'm like which it is is not really gonna work with power lifting because a uh, pull is more is like explosive uh reps is about of course you still have to do the good form okay guys please don't get me wrong i'm not saying that pull lifting you don't need or no you don't have to to have a good form no no no, no. you still need a good form but they are explosive uh, reps okay and i'm someone i was like oh no i like slow like i enjoy like doing the pause i enjoy like going slow and eccentric and even when i I learned just like few months ago when I learned the eccentric. I was doing the eccentric before, but I didn't really know what is it. But when I learned more like few months ago with like Coach Greg videos, we many think like how to really go slow, how to really work the muscle, and I as I, I start, I started to enjoy it more. You know, my opinion or my point of view about 
uh, poor lifting versus uh, bodybuilding. I would say that for me, I think that bodybuilding is more safe than poor lifting. As I said, uh, we, we are living, we think about the future, okay? I'm not, I'm not just going to lift weight and forget that uh, one day I will be like 40, 50 years old and I will, I will, I will need to, to work, all those things. So I don't want to just have many issues, you know, because the more you get older, the more your body becomes weaker and the more is your immunity system becomes weaker so there are many things that's why i'm like now i do both some days i'm like oh yeah my some most of the time my first exercises are more on strength for example when i want to do uh chest day some chest day i go with the bench i focus on like strength like five to eight reps other days I'm like no 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 I don't want to do strength and I just go on hypertrophy 10 to 15 reps and also I know people will say that the rep doesn't count because some some studies shows that rep doesn't count it's just about training hard but hypertrophy you know the muscle is like a flower you know you have to take care of it when you want to put a plant you don't just come and put water one time and go and put it anyhow no you have to put it where there's the sun you have to put water you know it's like the muscle you have to take care of the muscle when you train your muscle when you really want to build the details like your back all those muscles on your back when you really want to build them you have to be smart you have to put the details you have to be sure that oh i'm now i'm working my lower back you have to be sure that oh now is my lats you have to be sure that oh, now is my middle back so you have to be sure that you are working on the mastermind connection but i'm sorry if i'm going fast i'm not gonna work on the mastermind connection if i just do five reps six reps i'm not really gonna get it so i we i will need to go slow i will need to do some pass i will need to do some drop set super set i will need to work on the mastermind connection i will have to increase my reps i will have to increase my reps at that moment I'm going to fit the muscle. I will have to engage my core, keep my chest out, all those things, you know. And that's why I was just like, I enjoy bodybuilding. I know it's hard. And also, there's something crazy. People say that, oh, uh, like, oh, hypertrophy is for weak people. Oh, it's for women. Oh, oh no, poor lifting is for people that are strong. No, guys, I'm telling you the truth. It's easier to do five reps explosively than doing 15 reps slowly. I'm telling you guys, many people that shout like, no, hypertrophy, hypertrophy, uh, it's, it's, ah, it's nothing, it's nothing. You guys should try it. You guys can go and watch my video, how I train, like, just give it a try. Take a cable row exercise uh, for your back, go slow on the eccentric, hold it, go to failure, do drop set. You will see how it's hard. I'm not saying that poor lifting is not, for me, I always say that I respect poor lifter, they are strong. It's not, it's not easy to keep your knee out and to squat four or five plates. It's not easy to focus, to breathe and to go down. Yeah, but also you guys should not also laugh at people that train hypertrophy. Because I know hypertrophy, one set can take you like one minute and ten. I remember last time I was doing biceps curl. It took me one, uh, one minute and 15 seconds. I was going so too slow. It's a long set. So my advice is that guys, put both. When you start with legs some days you can be like oh today i want to do the barber squat i want to work on strength i want to do four to six or eight reps oh next time no 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 today i want to do the axe squat and i want to focus on high reps 10 to 15 reps and this is going to be good for you because you're going to incorporate and strength and hypertrophy this is my advice and this is what i do too i don't just like oh but i know i love i enjoy hypertrophy i that pain that burn I like it, you know, and nobody can come and change my mind because I know I can see where I came from and I can see where I'm going. I'm in the process and I also want everybody to enjoy it because if you do something that you don't like, you will not put your effort. People do powerlifting because they love it, they enjoy it. And people do bodybuilding like me, hypertrophy training because I like it, I enjoy it, I love it. And it doesn't also mean that because you're powerlifter, you will not have abs. Uh, poor lifter they have abs they are lean they are like you can see their biceps you can see their chest but there are also people that are also uh, bodybuilder but they are also strong you know an example uh the poor lifter guy Russ wall i don't know Russ wall or uh, yeah he's have abs he can even pause and you can see like sebum chris bumstead you can see how the guy is strong he can he can deadlift many plates but he's a bodybuilder so like there is no, there is nothing like, no, this thing is bad, this thing is good. No, both of them are good. Just do what you love. Just do what you enjoy. I enjoy hypertrophy trainings. That's why I do it more. So guys, this is my advice for you guys.
please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share i don't know why when every time i start a video i don't receive subscribe because i'm like <sighs> i'm just in i'm just in the thing you know i'm just in the video i'm just in the in, you know in the topic you know like i'm not i don't i don't think about like oh you have to say please subscribe you have to remind people to subscribe no guys so yes yes so i'm not really in my mind i don't really remember that oh please subscribe like comment and share but i need to do it more often so guys yeah just uh give a like share to your friend share to your family you know people around so we keep growing you know yeah and n'oubliez pas de vous abonner de liker de commenter de partager Les abonnés étaient petits pièces, c'est à la poste à vite comment tu vas te poser tes inchimi. Yeah, pour battre une série aussi une next vidéo, guys. Peace, let's go. J'ai vraiment faim. Quoi je? I was even starving. I had to do the video first for you guys, so please guys, subscribe, leave a comment, like, and share to your friends around.